hello people of YouTube. So this week I wanted to try something just a little bit different. Um, so even though this reads like a short story, what I really was trying to do was build characters. So I was like doing characterizations, but I challenged myself to not use any dialogue. So I wanted to build characters and like for people to get like a full view of who they were without any dialogue, without them speaking to anyone else. It's just kind of their own thoughts and feelings. So that's what this is. This is me building characters with no dialogue and I had quite fun doing it. I like the way the characters turned out and is all, enjoy. Dunia is not happy. Today was supposed to mark the first day of the rest of her life. She prepared for this day for weeks. Even now, she can lean over her bed and look at the calendar in the corner above her desk and see the bold red circle around this exact date. The thin straight lines of her handwriting proclaiming this day, assignment day. She has been looking forward to assignment day since she first started Chua. She spent long nights awake and studying while going sleep in the name of her grades. She gave up endless nights with her friends, memories she'll never have in exchange for the satisfaction she felt in achieving her goals. She was one of the only Kulunga to make it to the top tier of her Chua. She proudly shows off her tri Mwezi, her triple moon ranking. It's almost unheard of for a Kulunga so young to have a ranking so high, and she didn't stop there. She took on triple the work and received two more rankings in addition to her tri Mwezi. She wears the bold marks on her skin with her head held high. Dunia knows her worth. She is a top ranking Kulunga, and she has more knowledge and power in her grasp than most of the elders she comes in contact with. It is for these reasons why Dunia is not happy. She has just received her first assignment. She is to train the yearlings for the upcoming Kuwinda, the hunt. Not only is her first assignment something that should be handled by Kulunga still in Chua, certainly not someone who has three rankings as herself. But to add insult to injury, her partner for the next six months is Maua, to be assigned a partner that could barely make it to an Almasi ranking. A diamond ranking is insulting. Dunia is not happy. Maua is downright pissed. She has just been told that after her fifth appeal with the Wazi, the elders, that she won't be allowed to go any higher than an Almasi ranking. Maua has been trying to get the Wazi to allow her to gain her true ranking, a Jua Nbili, the double son. But they don't agree with her methods of power. They call her power impure. They don't know how to handle a Kalunga that could reach a tri Mwezi with her eyes closed. They don't understand how she can so easily wield power that takes others months to learn. And they are scared, so they limit her. To make matters worse, she has also learned that she has been put on assignment with Dunia. Dunia is a know-it-all with a holier-than-thou attitude. She wears her rankings like a robe of arrogance and looks down at anyone with less. Maua is not happy about having to spend the next six months training yearlings with her. Dunia may think she has more power with her rankings always proudly on display, but Maua knows she could easily beat Dunia with her hands tied behind her back and blindfolded. Dunia may have held the power with the other Kulunga in Chua up until now, 
Momoa is tired of being treated like she is less. If Dunia thinks she has the power in this partnership, she's in for a rude awakening. Maua has been waiting to teach her a lesson for a long time.